Hey guys, tonight's review is for The Word, starring Bradley Cooper, Zoe Saldana, Jeremy Irons, and Dennis Quaid. Um, the Word was a good title for this. It, it is definitely a very wordy movie, not action-based. Um, lots of words. Basically, if you don't know much about this movie, it is a story within a story within a story. There is um, one story that takes place right after World War II. It um, has to do with a young man meeting a woman in Paris, falling in love, um, writing this story that he loses, and then the heartache that comes after that um, in his personal life and his professional life. The second story is about a young writer who also has a relationship, has a beautiful young wife, and is a struggling writer, a struggling with um, the expectations of trying to be successful and a provider and everything that an adult should be, especially an adult male. Um, he comes across a lost manuscript uh, becomes very obsessed with it and just has to write it out. Ends up stealing that manuscript and releasing it, and it becomes a famous, a famous hit, a famous work of art. And then the third story is a older writer who um, is published, and he is reading one of his stories at a gala and speaking to a young writing student. Um, so you've got story, story, story. The way it's written, though, it, it, it sounds like it could be confusing, and it easily could have, but the way it was written was very easy to follow what was going on, to know what point you were in. The flashbacks made sense, going back and forth through time. Um, so the writing was very good. And um, now talking about some of the actors. I think that the acting was really strong in this. Bradley Cooper did a really good job um, as his character's name is Rory. He's in the second story, the young writer who copies a manuscript and releases it as his own. He is very good in that role, and also his wife, played by Zoe Saldana, she's also really good. Their chemistry is good. Um, both of them, their range of emotions and just the the pureness of what you know when they're having a fight, it feels real. Um, they were both very good. Dennis Quaid is good. Also, he is in the third story of the older, more established writer. And um, my favorite actor in this actually was Jeremy Irons. Um, his voice is just. It's intoxicating. I could hear him talk all day long. And he um, is kind of in the second and the first story. He's in the second story with Bradley Cooper. And you find out that he is the man who wrote that manuscript that was lost. And he has a story to tell as well. Um, so the acting was very strong. The only character that I don't really think was necessary was in the third story with Dennis Quaid, um, the young student, a young female student who was speaking to him in his story, was played by Olivia Wilde. And while she did a fine job, I thought that of all the characters, hers was really weak, um, almost wasn't necessary, really you could have dropped any young actress in there and it would have played the role, there wasn't a lot to that. I think that that probably could have used being fleshed out a little bit more. Um, as for the story itself, I, I thought it was really good. As I said, it moved through those three different storylines really well. Um, it definitely kept your attention going. You wanted to know um, what happened to that first writer from World War II. What happened to Rory's character? Um, you know, like what happened after these books were done, after the parts that you saw, what happened next, that's the whole thing about this movie, the word, what happened after the words on the page were done, and um, that was very interesting. 
like a movie that I reviewed a few weeks ago, Ruby Sparks, kind of had an issue with the ending to this because, again, it was kind of an open ending. There wasn't... It was like taking a cab and you're taking it to a restaurant and it drops you off two blocks before the restaurant. You're almost there. You can see the restaurant. You can see where it's the movie's heading and then it just stops. Like, literally everyone in the movie theater with us, as it went black, you heard, oh, oh. we wanted that, that extra five minutes, that, that crossing line that would have completed the picture and I guess put it in its little pretty package. This movie doesn't do that. Um, could bother people somewhat, bother me a little bit, but I thought in general the movie was very, very good. Story was good, acting was good. I liked um, the use of silence in this movie. There is some music, some background music, but there are a lot of times where it's just the characters talking or it's just the silence when no one's talking at all. And uh, I think that's something a lot of filmmakers are afraid to do, but it can be very powerful, and it was in this. So in general, I really liked pretty much everything about the film, um, except for Olivia Wilde's character. And uh, wasn't thrilled with the fact that, you know, it wasn't tied up in a pretty little bow. But I'd say it's definitely worth seeing. I'm going to give it a B. And that's all I have for tonight. Thanks for watching. Bye.